Shanti. Date is 27th April 2023. Morning Murli, Bab Dada, Madhuban. Essence of the Murli is sweet children only by having yoga will you receive the strength to remove your old habits of many births and imbibe all the virtues so it is only by having yoga that we will remove our old habits of many words and imbibe the virtues not the knowledge only by having yoga therefore remember the father as much as possible question which race are you children now running when do you get tired of this race answer you children are now racing to become beads of the rosary of victory in this race some children run very well and others become tired the reason for becoming tired is that you do not pay full attention to the study your manners do not become reform either. There is doubt as to whether such children will be able to stay here in the future because of being influenced by lust or anger. You have tiredness and you then say that you are unable to climb anymore that you will see whatever happens. This too is a wonder. So Baba has asked two questions that what race are your children running and when do you get tired of this race? Then Baba answered that we children are running the race to become beads of the rosary of victory. And in this race, some children become tired and Others run very well and the reason of becoming tired is that they do not pay attention to the study and they, their manners also do not get reformed and they think that they will not be able to climb this anymore. So that is because of the influence by lust or anger that is Maya. They become tired. So this too is a wonder song. Someone made me belong to him and taught me how to smile. Om Shanti. God speaks. It has been explained to you children that neither human beings nor deities can ever be called God. There is just the one God whose temples continue to be built. He is called Shiva or Somnan. So it is only one God Father who can be called God, not any deities or human beings. He comes and says to you children, sweetest children, remember me in that home of mine. That is the supreme Ado Param Dham. I am the resident of the supreme Ado. I come here and enter this body and tell you, you have to remember me in the place to where you have to return. It isn't that you have to remember me here. So Baba is explaining us children that we have to remember Baba and the place where we have to return. That is our sweet, sweet home, Param Dham. We have to remember Baba, but not in this world. I have come here to connect the intellects of you children in yoga with that place. Oh children, remember me in my home, the supreme adobe where the soul resides. You children, sorry, you understand how each other's Sanskars in this Tamoguni world are so different. Those who imbibe knowledge well would surely be called good. Some are such that no matter how much you beat your head 
they just don't reform themselves they don't follow shri mat it is understood of them that they are great sinners like ajamil so even in b case there are few people that they don't reform themselves that is they don't follow shri mat so baba is saying it is understood of them they are great sinners like ajamil if someone doesn't study he or she will become degraded and attain a low status so what are the consequences if they don't follow shriman so baba is saying if they don't study they will be degraded and attain a low status here there are three types of status high middle and lowest for those who don't follow shriman it should be understood that they are even worse than the greatest sinner ajamil so we have to be very alert baba is saying for those who don't follow shriman it should be understood that they are even worse than ajamil they have been committing sin, such sins for birth after birth although this may be a good birth for someone and not so good for someone else everyone can go very high by studying so baba is letting us know that for someone this might be a good birth but for others they might be struggling even in this birth so there is a chance for everyone to claim a high status and that only be attained by studying you children now know how you have been around the cycle of 84 births we are studying to claim a high status in the future the father says look at your behavior in the mirror of your heart baba repeatedly tells you children reform your behavior those who believe that they are becoming worthy of heaven also make others the same so baba is saying look we should look at our behavior in the mirror of our heart that is the soul baba repeatedly tells that reform your behavior there is a lot of difference in their behavior you have to show the manners of a deity here by showing devilish behavior your status will be destroyed in fact all of us were buried in a graveyard ravan had buried us in a graveyard the father came and removed us from those graves the world is a graveyard at this time and bharat is number 1 in that so all these years we have been buried in the graveyard so ravan had buried all of us then baba comes and removes us from those graves and baba is saying that bharat is number 1 in that since it is the oldest of all at first it was the number 1 land of angels that is paristhan and it is now the graveyard that is kabristan the father explains look at your face are you worthy of interacting in a divine way do you believe that you are following shrimat are you developing virtues the same as mamma baba and the special children let alone lust check do i have an evil spirit of anger in me so baba is telling us children to ask ourselves that do we believe that we are following shrimad we are developing the virtues the same as mamma and baba so both of these evil spirits are very bad that is lust and anger with anger you born one another it is very big enemy you have to chase it away check 
do I have any defects in me? So Baba is telling us to check that are there any defects in me? If I am not following Srimad, I would totally destroy everything. All truth, Srimad is received by you so that you souls become good and then becomes imperishable. Unless there is yoga, there cannot be any reformation. The more you remember Baba, the more strength you will receive. So again, Baba is saying, unless there is yoga, we cannot reform ourselves. And if we don't reform ourselves, we cannot become imperishable. And by remembering Baba, we will receive strength from Baba to change our old sanskars of past words. If you don't imbibe virtues, Maya will slap you at every step. Someone would promise that he will not become angry. But five minutes later, he would then become angry. Strong habits of many birds have been formed. And so it does not take time. Sorry. So it does take time to remove them. Since these habits are from many birds, so it takes time to remove them. When Baba knows that, when Baba is saying that Maya will slap you at every step. So we have to follow Srimad and remember Baba. These evil spirits have to be totally controlled. Greed and attachment are their little children. The evil spirits of the wisest are also number wise. Even the wisest are number wise. First of all, there is impure arrogance and then there are lust, anger, etc. No one else can give these teachings. It is very true. It is only through Baba which we receive this knowledge and this teaching because no one in the world know this. Therefore, children become soul conscious. Remember the incorporeal one. Sannyasis consider themselves to be the supreme soul. They say that each soul is the supreme soul. The father says, you are bodiless souls not bodiless supreme souls how could there be so many supreme souls god is beyond birth and death he is called the supreme father the supreme soul so baba is saying sannyasis consider themselves to be the supreme soul but the supreme soul can only be one that is the Father, Shiv Baba, and God is beyond birth and death. Since sannyasis also come in the cycle of birth and death, they cannot be the supreme soul. He sits here and says to you children, Now make effort quickly. Death can come at any time and you won't then be able to do anything. So again, Baba is alerting us saying that death can come at any time and we won't have time to even make effort or we won't be able to do anything. There will be, there will, there will continue to be many types of accidents. Calamities are also about to come while saying today, tomorrow, today, tomorrow. You may die and you won't then be able to claim a status. So there will be calamities. There will be many types of accidents taking place. We might be saying that today we'll make the effort today. We'll make the effort tomorrow. But we may die and then we won't be able to claim a high status if we just keep saying and do not start working on it. That is we have to make effort. Worthy children are obedient and faithful to Shiv Baba. The father knows all the children. Ravan has made everyone completely dirty. This is called the devil world. He is now making you into deities. 
you will become that if you follow Srimad. So this is a completely dirty world since this is an iron age. It is called the devil world. Now Baba is making us into deities. So we have to follow Srimad in order to become deities. They teach children at school and they also teach them manners. You learn manners here too. So Baba has given an example of school that they teach the children at school and they also teach the children manners. So here too, we learn manners. The main thing is divine behavior. So here, the difference in the normal school and this school is that here we learn divine behavior. Impure arrogance is very bad. It makes everyone fall. You then become body conscious again and again. The father says, consider yourselves to be souls and remember me and you will come to me. Maya has cut off everyone's wings. No one can go back home. Otherwise, souls can fly so fast. However, no one can go back to the supreme adobe. No one except the purifier father. So Maya has cut everyone's wings. So we cannot go back home. In order to go back, we have to become pure. Then only we will go back with along with the father. So it is only the father who is the purifier can take anyone back to the incorporeal world. Nor can anyone go to the pure corporeal world. People don't understand the coming and going. Since destruction is to take place, Father will take everyone back like a swarm of mosquitoes. What will happen then? They don't understand anything. The Father has come to establish the original eternal deity religion of the new world. No one understands that the God of the Gita established the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. So even we didn't knew this, that the God of Gita established the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. So it is the father who come and establishes the original eternal deity religion of the new world. At the time of the Mahabharat war, Rudra truly created the sacrificial fire of knowledge from which the flames of destruction emerged and the world was destroyed. Those to whom he taught Raja Yoga became Lakshmi and Narayan, the kings of kings. So Baba is telling in Mahabharata, sorry, at the time of Mahabharata war, Rudra created the sacrificial fire of knowledge. So here, even this is called as Rudra Yoga. So from which the flames of destruction emerged and the world was destroyed. So to whom he taught Raj Yoga. That is why this is called as Rudra Gyan Yagya. So Baba comes and creates the sacrificial fire of knowledge and teaches us through which we become Lakshmi and Narayan, the kings of kings. You know, we are studying with God. We are studying and becoming the masters of heaven. Previously, there was the Christian kingdom government. Now the people of Bharat believe that they are the masters. However, you know that you become the masters of the whole world. Baba is saying previously there was the Christian government, but now the people of Bharat 
believe that they are the masters but we know that we will become the masters of the whole world the father himself comes and changes human beings into deities it isn't in anyone's intellect how or when he changed human beings into deities although they study the grand they don't understand anything so no one knows that the father himself comes and changes us human beings into deities it is not in anyone's intellect that how and or when baba comes and changes human beings into deities although people have the bookish knowledge but they don't understand anything you can now explain to them you children have to imbibe divine virtues and follow shrimat otherwise your wings will be broken when you imbibe knowledge fully you will also develop divine manners all human beings are body conscious they have one defect or another the father explains to you very well god speaks is also mentioned in the gita he says o oh children i have come to teach you you are becoming judges and barristers etc i have come once again to make you into the masters of heaven i am the creator of heaven i come and make you children into the masters of heaven every cycle at this time you are becoming greatly fortunate so baba is saying that he is the creator of heaven and he comes and makes us children into the masters of heaven every cycle so at this time we are becoming greatly fortunate this play is like that maya makes you unfortunate again baba comes and makes us fortunate it is number wise some are 100% others 90% others 80% the more someone studies the more he is able to show that you have to have the concern to be threaded as number 1 in the rosary of rudra when those children are transferred they go from one class and sit into another class they receive a number according to the marks they receive then they are transferred accordingly here to you soul study and become threaded in the rosary of rudra number wise the so baba is saying even in the normal college or school when the students are transferred they go from one class and sit in other class based on their marks or their performance so in the same way here also we study and become threaded in the rosary of rudra number wise those who make more effort they will be top in the rosary of rudra so that is why baba is saying number wise their souls gynecological genealogical tree is big then from there you will become the rosary of victory of vishnu and sit on the throne number wise you are brahma kumars and kumaris but at this time there is no rosary of you because a race is taking place today someone is racing ahead very well 
and tomorrow he stops running today he calls him father and tomorrow he divorces him many have doubts they neither study nor imbibe manners and so they become distressed and then they try to run away they divorce baba so baba is saying here we are running race so he's saying that some uh, today the children comes and calls him the father and tomorrow he divorces him that is he leaves him they the children neither study nor imbibe manners so the children becomes distressed and then they run away they divorce papa there are so many children at many centers who believe that they have become tired that they won't be able to climb anymore and then they say whatever is going to happen will be seen so baba knows everything he is saying that some children at many centers believe that they won't be able to climb any more that is climb a high status and they say that whatever is going to happen will be seen the number one enemy last causes a lot of trouble even those with anger become troubled and then divorce the father it is a wonder the bridegroom the god of all the devotees comes to teach you and make you into beautiful flowers and yet you divorce him so we are saying the bridegroom the god of the devotees he himself comes and teaches you and makes you into beautiful flowers and still you divorce him the father the bridegroom never divorces anyone the brides divorce him and run away and so what can the father do so the brides here is baba referring to us children father never divorces anyone that is his children but the children leaves the father and run away so what can the father do they become traitors the father says i am your bridegroom i have come to make you into empresses of heaven i have come to remove you from this jail of ravan and to take you to the cottage free from sorrow so baba is saying i am your bride groom i come and make you into empresses of heaven i come to remove you from the jail of ravan and free you from sorrow in spite of that you don't follow shrimat and you go to the ravan side so in spite of all this what that baba comes makes us into empress of heaven he comes and free us from the sorrow and remove us from the jail of ravan so in spite of all these we don't follow shrimat and take ravan side many people turn back from their pilgrimages they don't go with honest hearts in the first place baba is now taking you on a spiritual pilgrimage you know that souls will shed their bodies and go back to the supreme adobe they will then go and claim their status according to the efforts they made you can understand what status you will claim according to your behavior on the path of ignorance too some children are obedient and follow their father's orders whereas others cannot see clearly it is the same here no matter how much you explain to them they don't stop being stubborn so baba is saying in the path of ignorance too some children obey and follow their father's order whereas others cannot 
or do not obey their father or follow them. So here too, it is the same. No matter how much we explain to them, they don't stop being stubborn. There are such unworthy ones too. So Baba has used the word unworthy. They don't understand what status they will receive under those conditions. Baba repeatedly explains to you, but you still forget. When they are in the jail of a womb, they will Sorry, they make promises to change, but then, but when they come out, they become as they were before, here as well. Some children are such that nothing sits in their intellects. It is number wise. It can be understood whether someone is a godly nightingale or not. It is always the worthy children who remain engaged in doing service that climb into the heart. So it is always the children who are worthy, who remain busy or engaged in doing service. Those children climb into the heart. You now know that you have sacrificed your body. Why should you keep it? The mother and father don't tell you to do service night and day. You may rest for eight hours and do service for eight hours. For the remaining eight hours, remember the father. So Baba is saying, Baba is not telling us to do the service all the time. He's saying you may rest for eight hours and do service for eight hours. So the remaining eight hours, remember the father. It does not take long to explain the pictures to anyone. That Shiv Baba is your father and we are incorporeal souls as his children. Have you ever heard the name of Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul? So Baba is teaching us like how can we explain to the other souls and this does not take too long to explain the pictures to anyone. Truly, the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, sits here and establishes the new human world through Prajapita Brahma. He makes the old world new. You receive property from the Grandfather. He says, simply remember me. All devotees remember that Father. Come and liberate us from this sorrow. He comes and enters Brahma to give you children your inheritance. He says, I will make you souls pure through this one. Teach you knowledge and yoga for the kingdom and take you back with me. Then from there, I will send you to heaven. Those who do something receive the reward of it. The father explains so much. The ways and means of the father are unique. Look how he grants salvation to everyone and how he establishes the kingdom. This is why he is praised. The world does not know at all how the father gives Srimad or what he changes us into from what we were. Therefore, you should remember such a father. By following his directions, you will become like Lakshmi and Narayan. It has been said that even if Brahma were to come down, it is the same here. Some don't even know Shiv Baba at all. Simply by saying Mama Baba, no one can climb into their hearts. Mama and Baba know who belong to them and what they will become. What will you become if you don't study? Everything can be understood from each one's activities. There isn't any other study from which you could tell how you experience your 84 words. I am teaching you Raj Yoga to make you into future prince and princesses. This father also says, Therefore, you should make effort. The whole kingdom is being created now. It isn't that if you fail once, 
you will be able to study again. Kingdom is being established here. You are given a vision of all different types of status and this is why you should follow Srimad. The directions of Brahma are also very known. There are the directions of Sri Shiva. You are not going to receive directions from Sri Krishna. There you simply experience your reward. There everyone has good directions anyway. That is in the golden age. There is just a question of high or low status. The king is the king and the subjects are subjects. A obedient child is one who follows Sriman and makes full effort and glorifies the father's name. Acha, Bab Dada's love, remembrance and good morning to the sweetest, long lost and now found children. After giving love and remembrance, Baba asks you children, who are the decorations of the Brahmin clan, the spinners of the discus of self-realization? Tell me, do you love Shiv Baba as high as the sky or as high as the Brahm element? Tell me how much each of you loves me. So Baba is asking Acha that Tell me that do you love Shiv Baba as high as the sky or as high as the Brahma element? The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. We the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe mithe sikhilade bachu prati mat pita bab dadaka yat pyar or good morning ruhani bab ki ruhani bachu ko namaste hum ruhani bachu ki ruhani mat pita bab dadako yat pyar good morning or namaste essence for dharna point number one become a godly nightingale and glorify the father's name imbibe knowledge and make your manners very good point number two race to be threaded in the rosary of victory never become fed up or tired of brahmin life constantly follow Srimad. so we have to become nightingale and imbibe knowledge and glorify the father's name never become fed up or tired of the brahmin life Constantly follow Srimad. Blessing. May you experiment with the power of silence using the instrument of pure thoughts and become an embodiment of success. The special instrument to use for the power of silence is pure thoughts. With this instrument of pure thoughts, you can see whatever you want to become an embodiment of success experiment with this on yourself first experiment with it on any illness of your body and see how with the power of silence any karmic bondage will change into a form of a sweet relationship by using the power of silence any strong bondage of suffering of karma will be experienced to be like a line of water. So experiment with the power of silence on your body, mind and sun scars and become an embodiment of success. The Baba has given us this blessing that experience the power of silence that is pure thoughts. So any karmic bondages will change and transform into a sweet relationship or any suffering of karma will be experienced like a line of water. Slogan, become a lamp of the clan and glorify the name of the Brahmin clan with the light of your awareness. Om Shanti, Ketudis Murli is over.